Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Undaunted Breakfast with Cthulhu Loops. All right, so in the last episode, we actually um, managed to take the fight to the uh, elves here, and we took one of their settlements, Tower of the Stars, which is a coastal settlement, and thus, um, I don't know if our, um, you know, Tomb King can really enjoy it as much as they would in, like, a desert settlement, but it's fine. I'm sure they'll learn to love the beaches and stuff. Vathis, I'm actually going to have you start making your way towards Kasabar. Now that you're fully replenished and all that stuff. Lamizash is still waiting for his Tomb Scorpion. That's great. Setep is also waiting for his Tomb Scorpion. And I think I'll also maybe try to replace your Nehekaran Warriors with uh, Tomb Guards instead. That's great. So you have a, um, room for two more... Uh, we'll keep the War Sphinx. Can we get a Hyro Titan? We might actually have to have you... No, okay, we can't uh, get a Hyro Titan anyways, because we're full up on that. We might be able to start in next turn. That would be great. And we should also try to get, um... Uh, Arkan and the others down here a Hyro Titan. Because I'd love to see one in action. In... Not in a sexual context, but, you know. Or maybe. You never know, right? Uh, might awaken something in me. Uh, let's have Jan Hansa damage the walls in Torn Butthole. Fantastic. Good job. Are there any Elven Lord or heroes to kill there? Nope. Let's have you in Tenebu. Uh, let's have you start making your way down to here. And who's this? Hatip? I guess you might as well do the same. What'd you say? Fair ass mortals? You keep that language to yourself, buddy. Sahakit, you make me sad. Nezra the Kisser, can you knock this guy out? Fuck yeah. Holy shit, Nezra. You're the best. I love you, baby. Let's have you try to assault the garrison next time. That might be good. Adaya, can you please damage the walls? That's a 33% chance. Let's give that to... Yan Hanza, I think, failed? Let's see if Adaya can actually succeed. Wow, good job, buddy. Holy shit. Seven breaches. Or no, wait. We are the world's steward. Did we fail with Jan Hansa? We may not have. Oh no, Jan Hansa succeeded. Oh, I'm sorry, Jan Hansa. I didn't mean to shit all over your uh, reputation there. Please don't sue me. Senuset. What? They have a pyramid too? Unacceptable. Absolutely not. We have a monopoly on pyramids. You jerks. Sure, we'll upgrade that. Anything else? Damage building. Ah, right. The place that we just took. Tower of the Stars. Utep. Congratulations on your skill and chariot. Attaboy. Seheket. I suppose we'll give you... That. Adaya. Good job, buddy. Let's have you... Be better at damaging walls and shit. Okay, so that's what they have in their settlement. That's what they have here. It'd be nice to see what he actually has there, though. But it seems like we can't actually make heads or tails of his composition. Which is fine. It's okay. It's not like I wanted to any or anything. Kawatamun. Can you actually damage the wall? 62% chance. And you managed. Holy shit. Good job, buddy. Good fucking job. Oh, you already had a master uh, specialist. Alright, well then, um, let's have you... That's gonna be available rank 10. I suppose a little bit of that. Okay, I think we're good. We don't have enough money to do anything else. And everyone else is just resting, waiting for their uh, shit to return. Okay. Lothurn are dangerously close to um, outpowering us. Which is not great. 
but we do have the last dynasty available so that, I think that means that we can actually start um, recruiting another dude but right now Setep himself isn't even like fully replenished as it were so I suppose we should try to focus on that first Lamizash, try to follow um, Vanthus as he makes his way towards Kasabar. Vanthus? Kasabar, baby? There you go. So tap. Um, I, I'd love to do like an actual comparison, like a fight, a one-on-one -on -one fight of the Nehekarn Warriors versus the Tomb Guard. Be nice to see who actually comes out on top. Guess we might as well give you Hex Wraiths too. And let's try to save the last one for the uh, Hyro Titan. But actually, um. Mmm. No, it's fine. We can get. Wait, I guess we don't have the Dynasty technology yet. Ah, right, we need to do this. Alcazar, the second of a sixth Dynasty. Sweet. He is apparently good with chariots. Which... Okay, you know what? We're gonna go for this instead. Yeah. Underworld Gate increases the strength of our... No, no, let's go with the uh, Cambrian War Sphinx. Because I think that's gonna be more relevant for our fight with the... Uh, high Elves and Dwarves and shit. Jan Hansa, can you continue to break down the walls? Fuck yeah, 42% wall strength. I love it. Nezra, can you actually assault the garrison? You failed. It's fine, Jan Hansa. Oh, I see, you've already gone. Right, it's Adaya I think that needs to go next. Adaya? Oh my god. You're on a streak, baby. Keep it up, knock on wood. Hmm... Yeah, let's give you Master Builder. That's good. Arkan uh, is almost fully replenished. Actually, you pretty much are. So I'm going to have you making your uh, way down to the Tower of the Sun. Why can't you get on land? Maybe go after him instead? I do not understand. Alright, we might actually need to make landfall over here, which obviously isn't ideal, but it's fine. Thutep, you could benefit from one more turn, but you're just going to be providing reinforcements for uh, Arkan anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. And let's have you go down that way, and Thutep, I guess you might as well do the same. That's good. So next turn, we should be able to make landfall and uh, start making our way towards the Tower of the Sun. Let's hope uh, this lady doesn't book it, though. Miss, stay put, all right? Good job, Intenabu. Good job. Uh, let's give you Specialist. Make it a little easy for you in the long run. It's a Hecat. I think that might be a bit of a waste of money. That's fine. Oh, I see. Uh, so Hecat, we're gonna ignore you. Who is this? Kawatamun. Fuck yeah, holy shit. Okay, let's give you... Hmm, Canopic Jar Hoarder. Senna's Red, doing a good job of spying on this place. That's fine. Settlement upgrade. Sure, sure. What else? Ramen Face, the second. And that's it for this turn. I guess it is, isn't it? I guess it is. Never. I don't know if we actually need to take control of this fight, though. I mean, they've got a couple of, uh, phoenixes, which I guess is a little, little scary, but otherwise, not that big of a concern. Fucking dwarves. I can't believe they're raiding their lands. How long have these guys been raiding my lands for? For, like, generations. Basically, they've had babies. I don't know how these dwarves had babies. Because I think that it's, it's their army is composed of all men, but somehow they ended up having babies, and then their babies um, like continued on the raiding with their fathers, 
the original founders of the raiding. These guys have done the Great Incantation of Kassar. And Ramanaref has gained a Charnel Valley Necrotect. Good for you. Port and of Le Very well. Have you indeed? Oh, holy crap, holy. Thank you. And maybe we can, uh, farther down the line, we can have a marriage as well, you know. Uh, get married and pop out some undead babies. Uh, yeah, yeah. No? Not into the whole settling down and making babies thing? Alright, that's fine. I understand. It's not, uh, it's not for everyone. I, I, I get, I get it. And I, I'm sure it has nothing to do with me. Right? Hopefully, maybe. I don't wonder if maybe we should build more things here. Hmm. Mm. Suppose we could. But let's hold off on that. I think we might need to get one of these for something. I forget what it is exactly, but I remember reading something about um like was it a was it one of these? Or something. Whoa! Global recruitment capacity plus three. Holy shit! That sounds awesome. Why aren't I doing that? Oh, right. It's one of these. We need a Nerhakaran Citadel building. Right. The Great Incantation of Geheb. Which is, increases growth, decreases construction time, and gives us Tomb Swarm on all armies. Which sounds Awesome. The Undying Swarm obliterates all in its path. Wow, wow, wee wow. Okay, I'm thinking maybe we should just hold off on bending stuff, but nah. It's too tempting. It's fine, we'll just go with that. Okay. Great. Arkan? Uh, shield? Can you not make distracting yelling, moaning noises, please? It's very distracting. Wow. Shield, please. Be considerate. Damn, girl. Stop it. Fuck. Hey, guys. No, we deal with shield first. She's being very, um, inconsiderate. Yelling and, well, not really moaning, but uh, definitely making some uh, unsavory noises here. Oh, Intenabu. Intenabu. You jerk. And Hanza? Damage them walls? Atta boy. Let's give you... Aha. Okay, what do we have least of in terms of capacity um let's see four war sphinx two necro sphinx and uh two sorry three hyro titans okay well um i'd say let's go for a hyro titan necro sphinx while nice they're more so for um anti-large which we will need eventually against the orcs the but for now at least you failed adaya that's fine i don't blame you at all it was a difficult task and i get it mm. you have a lot of canopic jars i'm kind of wondering if maybe we should make some of these we still don't have a carved obsidian which we can get from here but of course that is not really doable right now. We could make ourselves some Blade of Morning Fire, which enables flaming attacks and shit. We can actually make a few of these. Okay, we've already got the Scorpion Armor, Physical Resistance, Ward Save. What does Ward Save do again? Hmm, I don't know. I'm wondering if the Armor of Eternity is a bit better. Increases weakness to fire. Which I guess is a little concerning, but eh, it's fine for now at least. Zaheket ignored. Who else? Kawatamun. 
Yeah, baby. Let's give you this. Four breaches. I love it. Nezra? Oh, you failed. That's okay, though. It's okay. I believe in you. Ramaraneth? Let's give you incantation of preservation. No, wait. Whose army are you in right now? Oh, you're in no one's army. All right, fine. Then. In incantation of preservation it is. Hatip? Don't care? Ramaraneth? Don't care? Okay. And Arkin can't write. Okay, I see. All right, fine. Next turn it is. We're just speeding through the turns here right now, which is fine, because this kind of this is kind of what happens near the end game, anyways. Not exactly turtling, not exactly not turtling. It's kind of a combination of the two, I suppose. The dwarves aren't recruiting, though, are they? Yeah, I, I think the dwarves are actually pretty much at their limit. I don't think they can recruit. Okay, looks like. Whoa. After what appeared to be like a million years, they've actually stopped raiding my lands. Is this a real life? Or is this just fantasy? I feel like I'm caught in a landslide. There's like... No escape. I've forgotten the rest of the lyrics, I'm so sorry. Um, I guess we... Should go with clothed in the divine. So right now we have a couple of uh, heralds, right? Okay, so whoever has the skeleton chariot uh, herald, we should get them to take that off. Uh, Ushapti, Unushapti, great bows, tomb guard units. Well, we don't really have a lot of these uh, troops either. Except for, no, no, tomb guards, that does work. Mm, I see. Okay, well, let's go for Clothing and the Divine, because that's a universal buff. Whereas the Herald only affects the, uh, the army that they're currently in, as it were. Okay, Lamizash and Setep, you're waiting. Still waiting, and that's A-OK. -okay. Yeah, in fact, I think when you do have them, I'm going to have you... Maybe go to the Black Tower of Arkan to pick up a uh, Hyra Titan and then head down south again to have you guys make the sta statue of Fuck. That's great. Miss, you really need to stop yelling like that, okay? It's disturbing the children. What do you mean, unlikely? It's disturbing my children. The children that I do not have, my theoretical children, you're disturbing them. Here, we're just gonna come. Okay, for a second I thought that she like vanished into thin air. Like she poked some kind of like weird fucking elven thing. But no, she's just booked it to the other side. I wonder if you can actually. We might. Okay, Arkin might not be able to, but. Hmm. Shield. Extinguish this. I suppose we should just auto resolve it, right? There. Silence. Finally, she stopped making those noises. Let's hope she's actually dead. Fuck yeah. So dead. I love it. Okay. Arkin, we're going to give you. Um. Hard to hit. Sounds good. Let's have you make your way towards there. Rakash. If we fight him there, unfortunately, it doesn't appear that uh, Arkin can. Well, Arkin might be able to get involved if we have him do this. Dutep. Hmm. These guys don't have a lot of constructs, do they? No, I suppose it's fine. Laya Quinn, I hope you don't go anywhere, Laya Quinn. Just stay put. 
fuck. That guy failed, but still, I want you to stay put. Nezra? I have Let's give you suspicions. Assault Garrison. Inflict more casualties. And we can't afford to. I am That's great. Yan Hanza? Fuck I yeah, baby. Stone. Let's give you an increase to your Knopic Jar Hoarder. That's great. Wow, wall strength is 0%. What does that even look like? I wonder if it's just like the walls no longer exist or something. I tip, don't care. Nezra, can't do anything with you because you're too expensive. Adaya. That's fine. You still get some experience points from that, so we're good. Right, Rakash. Um, you are two levels away from getting your own Cameron War Sphinx, which is awesome. Let's give you... Let's make you harder to kill. I am ready. In Tenebu. Don't care. Direct. Don't care. Kawatamun. Don't have the money. Don't care. Alright, let's have you guys go into normal stance. We're just basically waiting for Setep, and then I think... I don't know if these three will be able to take on the dwarves, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous about fighting them. Because they're so concentrated in this area, and they also have their garrison available. Which isn't super strong, but it's still something to be uh, feared, I think. I'm not gonna take our upcoming fight with the dwarves lightly here. They are pretty damn powerful. They're all like... I think every single uh, dwarf, except for the berserkers or whatever they're called, are armored to the teeth. And what did you do? You tried to assault my hero's um, units? Okay, I mean, can't really um, convince you to do otherwise, and that's fine with me, I suppose. Arkin, if you get into this fight... Unfortunately, I think Thutep is a little Our out of range. Life. Sorry, no, that's Rakash. Rakash is a little out of range. Thutep can get involved. Oh my god, more yelling! Miss, please! Stop with the yelling! Unbelievable. Fight. Fuck off, miss. Is this guy gonna book it too? Wrong. No, apparently not. And mm, apparently, yes, he's gonna book it. Never. Fine. The, the gods protect us. Wait a minute. Where's the other dudes? Lutep? Get in there, buddy. Same with you, Rakash. I'm not gonna just let Arkin take the uh, brunt of this fight. Let's do it. Let's fight the battle. Not that I think we really need to. Battle of the Tower of the Sun. Wow, it's like War of the Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Good grief. Fuck me. <laughs> and afterwards, we're gonna see the um, result of the Battle of the Tower of the Sun. <laughs> and of course, there has to be a report of the result of the Battle of the Tower of the Sun, too. Below 50%, let's take a gamble, and we get... Yeah, baby. Alright, let's start the deployment. Actually, let's get me guys to be group one. That's good. I don't know how wide their troops are going to be, but I'm assuming not very wide. Because they are considerably smaller than us. In more ways than one. Wink, wink. Nudge. Nudge. Alright, near the front. And Tepulchral Stalkers. Wait, are we fighting their garrison? You know, yeah, yeah, we're fighting their garrison. No, no, don't, uh, don't get too crazy ahead. Uh, that's good. Actually, let's have our siege at the very front. Maybe they can do some damage before we uh, get stuck in. And they should be able to, as a matter of fact. Okay, I mean, we will wait for our... Um, Reinforcements to come in though, but in the meantime, Siege Catapult, 
go ahead and uh, start demolishing the uh, eagle claw bolt throwers. Fucking jerks. Look at this guy in his majestic armor. Fucking golden armor. Look at these rich bastards. Eat shit. The high elves are like the 1% of the uh, total war uh, of the Warhammer world, I think. I could be wrong. I'm probably just talking out of my ass here, but you know. It kinda feels like it. Group four. Uh, you should be group one, group one. And you guys should be group three. Okay. Hmm. Let's have you guys. That might be a little too much. Because they think their combat width is like not that great. So it's fine. That's good. Might need you guys to shift a little bit afterwards, but again, not that big of a deal right now. I think that should be good. Actually, it's not. We could spread out a little bit more. Yeah. Fuck it. Right, archers. The shit ton of you. I love it. Let's have you guys spread out as much as you can. Almost perfect. And Ushapti. Get it on the side, but there's no need for you guys to spread apart too much. I think we're good. Right, we're basically just trading blows at this point with their uh, siege cannons. Not really cannons, but siege ballistae, I guess. Oh, ho, ho, that guy took it in the face! <gasps> Holy shit, look! This guy's been torn apart! Fuck yeah! Oh man, that's gotta be terrifying. Oh, oh my god, he lost an arm! Oh shit. Oh my god, direct fucking hit, guys. He destroyed one of their um, ballistae. Holy crap! Man, these guys are so good now. At first, he came to us as little babbies, unable to hit anything, and now look at you. And fucking tear butthole from like a million miles away. Of course, I don't use miles. Being Canadian, I don't use the um, imperial system. So I don't, I have no idea what a million miles looks like. In fact, it's hard enough to visualize what a million kilometers uh, looks like, but still. Okay, here they come. Boom! <laughs> I wonder if our artillery can reach... Ah! <laughs> Alright, I think we're pretty much done with... I mean, they're moving forward, which is a little strange. But I do wonder if maybe we can go after their phoenixes. Sorry, they only have the one. The Star Dragon. Fuck me, that thing looks terrifying. Please kill that thing. I believe this thing was in the trailer, was it not? Or the teaser or whatever? It's like fighting with some uh, other giant ass dragon thing. Oh, guys, almost had it. Almost. Juan, I believe in you. I believe in you. I'm putting a lot of faith in you guys. It looks like they're actually coming towards us. Which, I'm not going to lie, is a little surprising. But I guess they feel like um, needs must when the devil drives, right? They've got no other choice. And, of course, they're going to uh, hit our catapult. So let's have a... Oh, fuck me. Um, maybe drop the artillery? No, they're not too close. That it would be... Nope. Drop the artillery and book it. Get out of there. Okay. You guys should get involved. Fuck up Yelgren. That stupid ass bitch. Arkin? You know what to do, baby. Okay. Uh, we could wait for them to attack, but let's not. Considering that a lot of them are actually uh, melee or ranged uh, dudes. And you guys can stay put and attack these bitches. The Pokeball Stalkers definitely go after the Star Dragon. Arkin, see if you can't. Okay, you can't. At least not for another 10 uh, turns. All right, well, if that's the case, then let's at least get a little bit of a full body con deal on our uh, dudes here. Channeling Staff. 
That sounds awesome. What are you guys doing? I told you to get involved. What the hell, guys? Actually, no. Let's have you guys... Oh, you can't. Fine, attack these bitches then. Oh, shit. Whoa. Holy crap. Did that much damage to just one guy by yourself? What a jerk. Alright, bitch. Let's get you, uh... Completely... Stuck? No, that actually just reduces your speed. Never mind. Alright. Spearman? Please go after their uh, dragon. And I think the rest of you guys can just... Do what you're doing. Kefra guard? Go after the Elothan Sea Guard. That's good. Ushapti? Y'all gotta do something. And the uh, Kemrian... Sorry, Necrosphinx should... Go after the Star Dragon who's almost dead. Do not let him escape. He dies. Fuck you. Star Dragon, I'm gonna watch this bitch die. At the risk of like everyone else um, in, a, in my army just completely snuffing it. No, I'm not going to watch them die. It's fine. Um, Necrosphinx? Is he dead yet? What a fucking bitch. Come back here, asshole. What an asshole. Unbelievable. Guy fucking booked it. Doesn't even have the common decency to, to stay in the uh, combat and die in front of us. Decides to book it like a little bitch. Right, well, let's get one of these going, guys. Thank you. Wait, it is a double strength one, right? Okay, well, let's get it over here, man. Whenever you can. No rush. But there's definitely a rush. What the? Wait. Did that thing come back to life? I guess it is a phoenix. And it does kind of fulfill its phoenixy, um... Or, or, I guess, whatever, it's fine, it's a phoenix. It's a lot to do those things. Okay, let's get you guys in here. Wow, a little late on the uh, tornado. But, you know, thanks. It did actually completely destroy their morale. Which is awesome. Uh, can we get the phoenix dead? That's at all possible. There. The range on this thing when you double charge it is insane. Oh no. No, no, no. They're going after Ramen Face. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Fuck no. Okay, Ramen Face, get out of there, buddy. Okay, they're, uh. Phoenix is booking it. Can we kill this guy? Is that possible at all? Let's get everyone else uh, following these jerks. Sepulchral Stalkers, I know you guys are pretty fast. Let's see if we can actually destroy some assholes before they uh, flee. And, uh, Necrosphinx, let's have you try to do the same. Or, I mean, I guess we don't really need to. We're pretty much done with this, right? That's fine. Sweet. They actually have a lot of dudes left. I think the majority of them managed to book it. Which is kind of funny. Ha <laughs> ha! Fucking cowards. I guess that is kind of realistic. I'm expecting uh, that's how the 1% would actually fight if they were directly involved in um, no combat. Right. I have no right? Well, fuck your right, bitch. You have no right, asshole. Yalgren is finally dead. What a little bitch. Not quite done yet, though, kiddos. Yep. God. Fuck yeah. Harvest their organs. Sweet. Good job, Rakash. Good job. You're one level away from getting your own uh, War Sphinx. So keep at it, buddy. Keep at it. It's... Wait, have I not gotten you your replenishment thing? Good grief. What have I been doing? What a fool I am. What a fool I am. Arkin, um... No, we were upgrading your heart to hit. Right. Shit face. I think we should try to... Yeah, make you a little bit harder to kill, but wait. 
No, no, that's that is your own uh, own thing. Never mind. I don't know what I was thinking. In Tenebu, congratulations, you got your first horsey. Vanthus has not yet moved. That's fine. Actually, you know what? Let's leave the episode off here. We'll come back tomorrow, and then uh, we will just completely wipe out the elves for sure, or at least the Tor Elasaur. The uh, torn butthole elves will be gone from our lands. That'll teach them. Seriously, it'll teach them. So. And then we'll go after the dwarves. Wipe them out. Not and so then uh, I think we'll just... Try to wipe out the orcs too, I guess. We might as well. But we only really need Lost Plateau. So we'll just have everyone converge around there and just stomp out the uh, orcs. But uh, that might be a little tough considering that there's so many of them. Actually, how powerful are they in comparison to us? They are... Very weak in comparison to us, which is awesome. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.